Hey, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is what we got going on for September 13, 2021. Uh, happy birthday, sweeties. I hope you guys have a great day today, and I hope you guys had a great weekend. Also, Virgos, coming in with the Six of Swords, the Five of Wands in reverse to the Queen of Wands in reverse here, Virgos. It looks like somebody here wants to make a move. So in their hidden feelings, they're not happy at the moment. They're really sad. They don't feel good. They feel stressed out. There's a lot of betrayal. You guys are trying to heal from it as well. You don't know what to do. You're feeling lost. A lot of pettiness, a lot of fighting, a lot of arguing here, Virgos. Some of you guys are in relationships with people who do nothing but cheat on you guys while you guys don't cheat on them. You feel me? And now it coming into your hidden feelings is that you guys are ready to make a move. And some of you guys may end up making a move without actually saying anything at all. Like, literally, you guys may end up actually ghosting this person, Virgo, just because of the fact that it's like, well, you know, if I was to tell them I want to break up with them, then I, well, what's going to end up happening? You guys literally feel like you guys want to make a move in silence. No lie. Six of Swords, the Moon card, the Five of Cups in reverse. You guys are ready to hit the road and, and, and pack your shit and make a move. Uh, straight up. Uh, too much pettiness, too much fighting, too much arguments, too much arguing with somebody who has no control over their emotions whatsoever. This person lies and they cheat Virgos on you guys. And they're going to end up getting stressed out, trying to find ways. This person also makes fake accounts and pretends to be other people just to see if you guys are actually cheating on them. Because the cheater is going to end up going crazy eventually and they're going to start thinking that you're cheating on them. So if they start asking you, oh, are you cheating on me? Well, it's probably because they're their subconscious mind is eating at them so badly to the point where they actually have to ask you uh, because normally the cheater asks those type of questions all right the loyal person they don't they don't ask all right they, they just genuinely don't so this person's making fake accounts here virgos they're trying to figure out what's going on with you maybe this person feels like you're about to make a move or you're about to leave because you guys are distancing yourself while you're in the relationship with them uh, they're loud they're weak the loudest person in the room is legit the weakest person in the room here, Virgos. They're trying to find f f ways to stalk you, uh, to be creative with the ways that they're trying to stalk you. Maybe this person makes a fake account pretending to be a dude or a girl who, you know what I mean? Whatever it is, like fake profile photo in the whole nine here, Virgos. That's legit with it, what it is. A lot of you guys feel so nothing but stress, too much mental stress here, Virgos, because of the pettiness, the feeling trapped, being held down in a relationship that does not make you guys happy at all. Virgo, Gemini energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and a Pisces energy here as well. Ten of Cups, Empress, King of Pentacles, Sun card. This person just wants to be happy. They want to go back to somebody who makes them genuinely happy. They remember this person here, the Empress, and that's who they want to push forward and go back to. They, it looks like they may have ended up either in a karmic relationship or they're already in a relationship for that matter. This person may also leave you guys and go back to their own family and go be back with their family as well. All right? Especially if they're going to be leaving just like that and they have no really, really no place to go. They may end up going back to their, to their home, to their family. Legit. Uh, regardless, though, they do want to come back for you guys, Virgos, um, because I think that that one right there taught them a really hard lesson, taught them a really, really hard lesson. They should have never have ended up in that situation there. And for the ones who are already in a relationship and dealing with this stuff, Virgos, y'all might be just about to lose your man or your girl or cross watcher. You're just about to lose your Virgos because Virgos are not going to be putting up with somebody who's going to be loud, obnoxious, arrogant, stalker, fake accounting it. It's too much. It's way too much. Y'all be adults out here and, and acting wild. So for that, uh, your person's about to dip. Regardless, though, you guys might be a little bit indecisive at the end of this month here, Virgos, coming in at the 22nd of September, uh, 24th, 25th. You guys might be a little bit stressed out here. Uh, regardless, though, you guys are going to be indecisive, trying to figure out what, you, what it is that you guys want to do. You guys just want to be happy, and you want to heal, and you guys want harmony and peace at the same time. Uh, regardless, though, somebody wants to come back for you guys, but the problem is in this situation here is that are you the second option? You feel me? So what happened, Virgos? You know what I mean? Did some shit happen in the past where you were actually in a relationship with this person and they left you to go be with a karmic and now they're feeling it really bad and now they want to leave and they want to come back to you guys? Are you guys going to be easily allowing them to come back towards you guys? Uh, Queen of Swords, Judgment, 
to the strength card uh, there. This Gemini Libra Aquarius, a Leo. Loud, loud Virgos. Too fucking loud, too petty. This person's not listening. Uh, they're not listening at all. They haven't made the judgment yet of what it is that they want to do with themselves. How is it they want to end up acting? How They're not making the judgment to say, you know what? I have inner work that I have to do on myself and I have to heal my inner in, inner traumas in order for me to be in a relationship. I have to heal my inner trauma. This person doesn't want to do that. They think that their behavior is actually normal and it's just fine, but it's not. They're rude. They're disrespectful. They're capable of pretty much doing harm to you straight up and then they want to cheat on you and then pretend that you're the one that's cheating on them very contradicting strength kind of reverse this person's weak af uh king of swords now this person doesn't want to talk anymore they're ready to make a move because the relationship's not working virgos it is what it is it's going against the grain all right this person might actually try and reach back out to you trying to tell you that they love you but they're being nothing but arrogant they may feel like they are also that you just lost a lot of hope here there might be something that you're not able to see, but if this person tries to come back towards you, there's nothing but karma coming in for them. They're going to end up hurting really badly with the three of swords because you guys may have been juggling this person with two people. If it was a man, this person was juggling two women, three women, a lot of fucking women or a lot of men for that matter. So that they can do what they want when they want and how they want it. Uh, regardless though, regardless though, Virgos. Uh, just as going to be in your favor. So this person is going to end up hurt really badly if you guys don't end up letting them come back into your life. They were doing nothing but juggling you, giving to way too many people. Now they're hoping that they're going to be able to come back for you and tell you that they want to be in a relationship with you and hope that they, that they can work on their relationship, marriage, and, they're, and it looks like they're asking God for mercy uh, as well, uh, sweeties, all right? At the bottom of the deck, I got the lover's card. The high priestess <laughs> to the ace <laughs> to the ace of cups to the queen of pentacles the temperance card to the tower card there virgos oh my goodness all right so there is a very powerful attraction here between uh you a sagittarius a pisces and a gemini all right virgos you guys might be manifesting love at the moment <laughs> so cute virgos uh queen of pentacles and the temperance card you guys are getting back into your power feeling all beautiful remembering that you're the goddess you're you're working your magic here virgos you guys got everything coming in for you guys regardless of there is a tower here for you guys let's see what that is eight of pentacles you guys be working working on yourselves working on your money the tower is going to be that there's going to be an area zero sagittarius who's going to try and come back back towards you <laughs> man all right queen of pentacles you guys are working on your money virgos you guys are hustling, working on yourselves as well. It looks like for some of you guys, as much as you guys want love, your your work and your career comes first. Absolutely, Virgos. That's what it looks like to me. Also, Virgos, there's going to be a Gemini who has strong feelings for you guys, a Sagittarius as well. Uh, but it looks like you guys are more focused on your money than you guys are focused on this uh, King of Wands energy. So this person wants to come back for you, uh, but you guys are not facing them at all. You guys are too busy working. You guys are very, very, so cute, Virgos. The, all right, keep your manifestations silent and quiet and only to yourselves as well. Seven of Pentacles. Now this person's reminiscing, thinking about the time that they had with you. Now they're hoping that if they were to come back for you, that you guys are going to accept their offer. But you guys don't have a good, nothing good to say about this person. Virgos coming in with the Four of Cups. Maybe you guys came to hate this person in some sort of way nine of wands you guys are being guarded now uh regardless of they are going to try and communicate with you and even if they were to communicate with you virgos they're going to try and do everything they can to come back for you and to get the ball rolling again but i don't know virgos with the four of swords to the four of cups energy that's four four google that virgos i don't think you guys really want anything to do with this person at all no even if they were to come back and apologize to you and tell you that they they want to talk to you or tell you that they miss you or they love you. How I, I don't care. I, it doesn't look like you guys are, are jumping for this person in any way, shape, or form, all right? Two of Wands. This person doesn't want nothing but a new beginning here with you. They are very much so passionate about you. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. They have been taking quite some time to come back for you. Um, and now they're hoping that they're going to be able to get you back here, Virgos, because they're seeing that you are their wish fulfillment. But they take a really long time. Knight of Pentacles, Scorpio energy. They take forever to come to you. They know that they want to be with you. They know that you're the one for them. But damn Virgos, they they be thinking too much here with the Knight of Pentacles. Like, 
I have to do it perfectly. I have to be meticulous. How am I supposed to come back? Should I bring them flowers? Should I, like, you know what I mean? What kind of gift should I bring them? You see what I mean? Aries energy. They want to come back for you, Virgos, and that's exactly what they're going to do. So do expect a message coming in from this person, coming with the page of Pentacles to the Knight of Wands energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But a lot of you guys might be uh, holding on, still blocking your heart space from allowing this person to come back. Uh, but th this person, okay, they had this connection on hold for a very long time. And now all of a sudden they want to come back thinking that they're going to be able to get you back just like that because they feel like, okay, well, if I come in as an emperor, um, then maybe, maybe the Virgos will, is, are going to want to, are going to want to take me back straight up Virgos. Uh, this person pulled their energy back in the past and said, you know what, I'm not ready to give love. I'm not ready to, to show love at the moment. But now they want to come back. <sighs> you guys may also reach out to an Aries Leo Sagittarius or Pisces or Taurus, whoever. And they may actually reach out to you right away, Virgo. So if you guys end up wanting to do that, it looks like they're going to come straight towards you guys. But for the rest of you guys, it looks like somebody pulled back their energy. And didn't want to give you guys love anymore. And for that... The hangman came through. You guys have been stagnated for a really long time. This person thinks that they can come back at any time. <clears throat> Eight of Pentacles, all right? So some of you guys might be walking away from anything that does not serve you anymore. You guys are very loving, very intuitive, very beautiful, very handsome here, Virgos. You're not going to be giving anyone your heart just to give them your heart. You guys come from a really big place where you guys are like treasures, sweeties. Like You guys' heart is literally like a diamond. And genuinely, not everyone deserves to have that in their life, especially if they don't know how to treat it properly. A lot of you guys have walked away from toxic relationships and toxic uh, energies and a lot of people who were toxic for you in the past here. And since then, you guys have definitely worked on yourself, gotten healed yourselves, gotten a lot better. Trust me, Virgos, you guys are not where you guys were six months ago. All right. I do. I've done plenty of readings i mean i upload about three readings a day at most times okay trust me when i say you guys are not the same person that you guys was six months ago you guys have grown tremendously you guys have healed a lot so even if in the readings it sounds negative or whatever i can also still see in the readings that you guys have worked and worked and worked on yourselves you guys should be proud of yourselves that you guys did the things that you guys have done sacrificed what you needed to sacrifice in order to get yourselves happy again in order to get your inner peace back your harmony back and your self-love back that's big virgos so you should definitely be proud of yourselves walking away from from people who don't who don't serve you at all low vibrational energies toxic people abusive people hurtful people you guys are making a move you're over it these people are still sitting there reminiscing about you thinking about you <laughs> fantasizing about you what could have been you know what i mean I should have taken that offer with Virgos. I should have been the one with them. Uh, regardless of Virgos, uh, somebody here wants to be with you. There looks like there's going to be an offer coming in for you guys when it comes to your love life there. Um, uh, this person's going to end up wanting to see you. They are getting the clarity that they need. They might be a little bit confused now. Regardless of they're going to get the clarity that they need and they're going to know that they need to come in and make an offer. Some of you guys are about to get proposed to uh, and engaged to as well. Or that was that just happened about a month ago. Or recently it happened here as well. Uh, regardless though, somebody here is about to take action. Gemini Libra Aquarius who wants to take action and come back for you. This person sees you as a Ten of Pentacles. They see you as somebody they can be happy with, beneficial with, financially stable here with. Maybe you guys all be making good money at the end of the day. Um, also somebody here also got a promotion for their workplace. Uh, this promotion for your workplace is going to take you up in salary by a lot, by a lot here, Virgos as well. Uh, regardless though, there's going to be a Gemini Libra Aquarius who's coming in to take action to get you. They want to be with you. They like you here, Virgos. Just seven of swords. But the thing is that this person, you need to watch your back from this person here, Virgos, because now they're looking back at the past of what they've done to you. This person definitely ghosted you or abandoned you in some sort of way here. And now they are fantasizing about you. They're missing you. They want to be back with you. They see you as their soulmate. They're getting the clarity that they're They're fantasizing, desiring you, uh, thinking about how they should have married you. All right. Some of you guys may have also been engaged to this person. And some of you guys may have also broke you guys' engagement up. And now they want to come back for you after the fact that they deceived you here. Pardon me. After the fact that they deceived you, did some sneaky ass shit on you, left you. Five of Pentacles there. 
all right uh now they want to come back for you because all they were doing was thinking about themselves straight up and they're still thinking about them fucking selves damn damn that's crazy they still be thinking about themselves so watch your back when this person comes back again for you guys still continue to watch your back all right five of pentacles you guys have been not feeling well this person also virgos after since they did that since they like ghosted you guys they've also not haven't been feeling well like the, whatever it is that they was trying to sneak off with it looks like they fell into some sort of illness here coming with the five of pentacles but it's almost as if like this person doesn't care what ends up happening to themselves they just are in it for their own gain like whatever this person i don't know who the hell this person thinks they are but at the end of the day though virgos this person's only about themselves if they have to come towards you, they're going to come towards you. But at the same time, they're still going to be incredibly selfish. 5-5, five, five. what do we have now? We got 4-4 four, four and 5-5. Five, five. All right? Ask your angels for help, Virgos. Just ask them for help because they it looks like they're, they're there for you guys. So if you guys need help for anything, you need to ask your angels. Otherwise, they don't interfere. Straight up. All right, watch your back when this person comes back for you guys. So this is how they're going to be acting. They're going to be telling you, oh my God, no, you're the one for me. I want to get married to you. I want to have a life with you. I want to have a relationship with you. We can go buy a house. We can do this. We can do that. And then all of a sudden, all that shit starts to happen. So the fuck Virgos, make sure that this person, when they're coming back during Mercury retrograde energy, that they're not being fake, that you guys know that they change their ways. Otherwise, they are in fact still the devil. Still toxic as fuck, Virgos. This is a crazy fucking read. Like, sometimes I just... You guys have no idea how sad I feel after these readings for you guys. Because it's like, oh my god. I can only imagine the headache that you guys have to deal with. When when, the, when these people come back into your life and they pretend to be something that they're not. And all, all they do is just waste you guys' time and your energy. I do. I genuinely get so sad, Virgos. And this right here, it makes me very angry. Alright? So... If you have no one good intentions on wifing up a Virgo or making a Virgo a husband, then just leave them the fuck alone. What kind of shit energy is this? How dare you bring this towards a Virgo? I'm being straight up. How dare you bring that shit towards a Virgo? Thanks, cuties. Bye.